Hi guys, in this video, we're going to sort this array from least to greatest using selection sort. We put A on the array, we assume that 4 is the smallest number. We put B right next to A, and B is going to find us a smaller number. So 3 is smaller than 4, so 3 becomes the smallest number. 1 is smaller than 3, so 1 becomes the smallest number. 2 is not smaller than 1. Now B is at the end of the array, so we swap the numbers at A and S, which is 1 and 4. Now we know that 1 is in its correct place, and we repeat this process. We put A on the array, assume 3 is the smallest number, put B next to A, 4 is not smaller than 3. 2 is smaller than 3, so 2 becomes the next smallest number. B is at the end of the array, so we swap 2 and 3. Now we know that 2 is in its correct place, and we repeat this process. We put A on the array, we put S here, then B. 3 is smaller than 4, so 3 becomes the next smallest number. B is at the end of the array, so we swap 3 and 4. 3 is in its correct place. So once we sort the first three numbers, the last number is automatically in its correct place as well. Now notice that A only goes from the first number to the second last number. It does not go on to the last number. Because if A goes here, then B will be indexed out of bounds. Let's take a look at the Python code. N is the length of the array. A goes from the beginning to the second last element of the array. Then we put S on A. Then we put B right next to A, and B goes to the end of the array. If the number that B is at is smaller than the number that S is at, then S is equal to B. And then we swap the contents at A and S. Here is a test case, and this will print out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The best average and worst cases are O and square. And in all of these cases, selection sort does not create more space, so the space complexity is all of 1. In the next video, we'll talk about insertion sort. And if you guys found this video helpful, please subscribe and share. It means a lot.